Hi, Rohit this side from campus. Today we will discuss about campus 4G development board. Here we are using A7672 S SIMCOM 4G module. So in this development board you can see first this is the voltage input and ground pin. By this pins we can power up the development board then the power key and the 3.3 volt key. We can actually short these pins when we want to power on the RF circuit of the module. Then you can see the RXTX pins that is the UART pin to communicate with another MCU's UART. Then you can see here one LTE antenna connector and one GPS antenna connector. So this is a with GPS module. The without GPS module is also available in campus as per your requirement. Then you can see here the speaker output and microphone input pin. So this module can able to communicate in calls by the speaker and mic. In the back side you can see one USB B type connector. So we actually power up this module by this port and also connect in laptop through USB. You can also see here one SIM card holder. Next how to first time on the module. So when we want to start the module we can connect the module with laptop by USB and power it up. Then the green light is on. It means the board is on now. But the RF circuit is not on till now. Then we have to short the 3.3 volt and uh, power key pin. And then the RF circuit is on. Then the red light is on. It means the RF circuit is on now. Then we have to install the AT command and diagnostic driver for the SIMCOM module. First time we have to go to the device manager. In device manager you can see I already connected the module with the laptop. So the AT port and diagnostic port is detected by but the driver is not installed till now. First, we have to see where we stored the driver. So in my case, the path is here. Sorry. USB driver. My path is here. So I update driver, then browse computer, then browse. And here we have to find the same path. So in my case, you can see SIMCOM drivers Windows 10. We select it and click next. So the driver is installed. Then we have to update the diagnostic port also in same path. Click next. So driver is installed now. Then we have to restart our module one time. So after restart, you can see all ports are now detected. Next, we have to run some AT commands with this module to see the module is works perfectly or not. So, so open SIMCOM SPT tool first. 
then select from here at port then open the port then simply type at then next so that shows ok this ok means our module is now works perfectly then uh, if we want to see the module specifications we have to type the at command at plus sim comma t so that shows the all specification like manufacturer model name model number revision number imei number all of that 